sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 6th of January. I'm James Spann. For most of the state, just some rain today, but over the far northern counties, there could be some hazardous driving because of a wintry mix as a new surge of cold air blows in here, and everybody gets in that cold air tonight. So let's talk about it. Here's the upper air look this morning. Got that big trough beginning to carve out over the eastern half of the country. That's going to deliver what should be the coldest air so far this season by tonight and tomorrow. That was the radar this morning, a little before 5 o'clock. Mostly rain pushing into Alabama. North of the state, that's all snow in Tennessee. So let's check the temperatures. And uh, you can see with numbers like this, we have no problems uh, over north-central Alabama this morning. Uh, Birmingham, 43. Haleyville, 41. Cullman, 37. Uh, and here's the deal. We have a surface boundary that's currently located over north Alabama, a cold front pushing in. And surface lows are developing on that to the west. They'll be riding along the boundary today. And again, colder air will be sagging down later today into north Alabama. So the rain could easily change over to kind of a wintry mix later today over the Tennessee Valley. This is the winter weather advisory. It includes Marion, Winston, Cullman, Marshall, and DeKalb counties and counties north. In fact, parts of Tennessee under a winter storm warning with this system. The Weather Service has dropped Lamar County. And again, this does not include Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Uh, here's the larger look across the country in case you're traveling. Winter storm warnings for parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, up around Boston, parts of the coast of Maine. Uh, snow likely for Washington, D.C. and Baltimore with the system. In fact, here's the snow swath here with this. Uh, good snows from Kentucky and Tennessee up through West Virginia, Maryland, ultimately Boston and Maine. Uh, and also a lot of lake effect snows up north uh, uh, for parts of uh, Michigan. So just be aware of that in case you're traveling north today. Uh, no thunderstorms today. Earlier, there was some thought there could be some thunder for South Alabama. The air's just too stable for that. Tomorrow, maybe some thunder for Miami. And then day three, which is Saturday, there's a marginal risk of severe storms over southeastern Texas, including Houston. And there could be some thunder here on uh, Sunday, but at this point, severe storms are not expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days, valid through Thursday morning of next week. Uh, for Alabama, the amounts generally over one inch for the north, under one inch for the south. Our next uh, rain event will be Sunday. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06C run, valid today at 3. There's the trough down below that. A lot of snow, Kentucky and Tennessee, and potential for a wintry mix over the Tennessee Valley. So let's look at the high-res modeling. This is the HER Valid this morning at 8. And again, you can see mostly rain for northwest Alabama. Some uh, freezing rain possible in sleet near the Tennessee state line. This is 2 o'clock this afternoon. And again, the better chance of ice accumulation, maybe a few snowflakes. Uh, the Tennessee Valley, extreme north Alabama, mostly rain for the state. And then by 5 o'clock, the whole thing is winding down. But temperatures will begin to fall today. Uh, many spots will be in the 40s this morning, then falling through the 30s this afternoon. But for uh, most of the state, by the time we get below freezing tonight, all of that will be gone and there are no issues. Uh, this is the expected snow coming off the HER uh, through tonight. Nashville could see three, four, five inches of snow from this thing. It'll be a pretty good snow for them, but you can see just basically nothing for Alabama. And this is the ice accumulation. And uh, the better chance of getting some uh, icy bridges, again, near the Tennessee River and points north. So we'll watch things as they develop today, but for most of the state, just rain. Now, tomorrow morning, it's going to be cold. Uh, lows 18 to 22, wind chill indices around 10, coldest air so far this season. The sky's sunny, the high will be in the upper 30s. Saturday, we start the day in the 20s, the high will be back in the 50s. The sky will be partially sunny, and then Sunday, rain moves in with the next front, uh, the high Sunday, mid to upper 50s. There might be a clap of thunder with this, but severe weather not expected. And then Monday, another surge of colder air drops in. Highs go back in the 40s, the sky clearing. Tuesday, we'll start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the low 50s with a sunny sky. And Wednesday, we're dry. Here's a week from today, Thursday the 
13th, a little shortwave ridge on top of us, and we've got rain to the west. We have seen other solutions that bring some chance of rain in here by Thursday night. This particular run says no. It keeps us dry all week next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 15th. Ooh, a cold trough over the eastern states, and if that's right, that would be awfully cold but dry. Rain from Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between 2 and 3 inches between now and the 20th of January. In the numbers, you can see the cold shot tomorrow. I've got 22 for Birmingham. Some folks up in the northern third of the state might see upper teens. Maybe reaching 62 Sunday, but then we go back in the 40s early next week. But on many days, highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s, which is about where we should be. In the latest 8 to 14 day outlook from the CPC, this is for the 13th through the 19th of January. Showing temperatures may be a little above average, but if that's the case, probably not by much. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors? Call Alabama Professional Services. Standing water or high humidity? Call APS. Nasty odors or dangerous mold? Call APS. Critters, bugs, or other pests? That's right, call APS. It's a fact, crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.